From 1776 to 1865, the African American journey for human rights was fascinating, for it contained many of the racial contradictions that still plague African Americans today. For example, African American soldiers participated in all the major wars of this period, the Revolutionary War, the War of 1812, and the Civil War, as well as any number of campaigns against Native Americans. They risked their lives in these wars, often with the promise that they would enjoy the same human rights as their white countrymen. However, the promises were never fulfilled. This period also saw the establishment of a number of African American organizations and institutions, such as the Free African Society of Philadelphia, and from it, the African Methodist Episcopal Church. A number of black newspapers were established during this period, most notably Freedom's Journal, and then later such papers as Frederick Douglass's The North Star. This period also saw the recognition of African American creativity and intellectual ability. General George Washington invited the enslaved African American poet Phyllis Wheatley to his camp to thank her for writing a poem in his honor. Thomas Jefferson corresponded with African American inventor Benjamin Banneker. And there was an outpouring of slave narratives in which African Americans recounted their precarious lives as captives. William Wells Brown published Clotel, or The Colored Heroine, a tale of the exploitation of an enslaved black woman by a politically powerful white man. The period of 1776 to 1865 concludes as the Civil War ends. The Northern victory over the South meant the end to the legal enslavement of African Americans, and it signaled a new direction in the African American journey toward human rights.